This is a song about a little girl with a very long name. In fact, her name was so long, she could hardly even remember all of it. She used to say, My first name is Sarah. I remember that. But nobody ever calls me by my first name. They all call me by my second name. Well, actually, they call me by my nickname, what comes from my second name. I'm not sure I remember what my real second name is. Her second name was Elizabeth. But most folks knew her as Lizzie. And trying to say all her names in a row is something that made Lizzie dizzy. So Lizzie got busy and wrote them all down. And soon it was known all over town that her name was Sarah Elizabeth Ward Sullivan Silver. Elizabeth woke up one morning to find that the hair on her head was bright red. She was still a red head when she climbed back in bed that night after she had been fed. As she lay there in bed, all her names filled her head. So she opened her mouth and she said that her name was Sarah Elizabeth Ward Sullivan Silver. At the sound of her voice, something quite strange filled up the air in her room. The moment I spoke, a big cloud of smoke appeared there sooner than soon. It seemed like a joke till the smoke cleared away. And there stood a dragon who leaned down to say that its name was Sarah Elizabeth Ward Sullivan Silver. Now Lizzie was troubled by this twist of fate, and she could see that the dragon was too. We both shared one name. We had been named the same. And neither one knew what to do. Till the dragon decided to swallow the child. And it ate up poor Lizzie and sat there and smiled. Yes, I ate up Sarah Elizabeth Ward Sullivan Silver. This dragon has quite a fine stomach, thought Lizzie. But I'd rather not be in it. So I'll crawl out its mouth when it has its next meal. I hope it soon plans to begin it. But the dragon just stood up and spread its wings wide and then flew out the window with that girl stuck inside. And that girl was Sarah Elizabeth Ward Sullivan Silver. And the dragon flew home to its mountaintop cave and then lay down to sleep on the floor with its stomach filled up with Elizabeth the dragon began to snore the snoring was boring and hard on my ear but it kept the mouth open so that girl could appear and then out crawled Sarah Elizabeth Ward Sullivan Silver. The girl Elizabeth looked at the dragon who bore the same name as she. Then the dragon awoke and I coughed out some smoke. <sighs> So Elizabeth offered it tea. Then she said to the dragon, Now listen, my friend. There's no reason to eat me. I don't mean to offend. Can't we both be Sarah Elizabeth Ward Sullivan Silver? 
The dragon reflected and had to admit that eating the girl had been hasty. But hasty or not, that dragon still thought the girl I had eaten was tasty. Still, they ended up friends. And to make its amends, the dragon flew Lizzie back home in the end. And they both were Sarah Elizabeth Ward, Sullivan Silver.